What would Atlanta have done without Andrew Young? He's ubiquitous with our city, and you'll find his name everywhere, on buildings, on streets, on statues. He is the former mayor of Atlanta, he's a former congressman, and the former ambassador to the United Nations. What more can you have in terms of a man all rolled into one? He's Atlanta personified. The Dan Sweat Award, presented in honor of CAP's former president, honors exemplary leaders who have made a lasting impact on downtown Atlanta. Where we are in downtown, you can't move throughout the city without seeing and understanding his impact. If you look at the way that Ambassador Young has been involved with us, he exemplifies those issues of, of civic engagement that Dan Sweat cared so much about. So, I mean, they are both really important to the Andrew Young School. As mayor of Atlanta from 1982 to 1990, Andrew Young promoted partnerships between the public and private sector, which remains a central focus of CAP's current work. Dan Sweat often commended Mayor Young for his renewed dialogue with the business community and stated he had a way of communicating that was so different it was disarming. I think that the importance of the Atlanta way, that is really special. And he brokered that, you know, between the business community and the African-American clergy. He put that together and we didn't see that happening in a lot of cities at that time. Since Young's tenure as mayor of Atlanta, downtown has thrived and remained the dynamic heart of the region, rising above challenges and hitting a current and unparalleled stride that could not have been achieved without the leadership of Andrew Young. Young transitioned Atlanta into an international city, branding Atlanta as an accepting and diverse community. One of the things he did was to invite people like myself, foreigners, international business, into the city, uh, from the Olympics to coming to Uganda to helping in the UN. Andrew Young's idea of internationalizing this city is what is making Atlanta great. Young's legacy continues to inspire the next generation at both the Andrew Young School of Policy Studies at GSU and the Andrew Young Center for Global Leadership at Morehouse College. He wants leaders not only at Morehouse but here in Atlanta and the city to be passionate and understand how we can impact people uh, all around the world. Take a walk through downtown today and you can't miss the signs of Andrew Young's legacy. Most notably, perhaps, is Centennial Olympic Park, which serves as a powerful economic impact engine, planting the seed for what is now the Centennial Park District, downtown's premier entertainment district. Andrew Young is a true believer in Atlanta, and the relationships he built with the business community continue to keep downtown thriving. Well, if we had a Pope for Atlanta, it would be Andy Young. Andy has had a tremendous impact on me. His character, his integrity, his conviction. So I admire him as much or more than anybody else. I'm pushed and I'm destined and I'm determined to be the leader that I want to be because of the energy that he still gives off. Andy, I want to congratulate you on receiving this very prestigious award. You deserve it more than anyone that I could ever think of. Thank you for being Andrew Young and thank you for all you've done for Morehouse. Andy, congratulations on winning the Dan Sweat Award. I hate to mention this to you because of our close relationship, but it, I would not feel good if I didn't remind you that I got the first Dan Sweat Award, and I thought you ought to know that. You're my buddy, and I love you. <laughs>